Hey there, Dr. Alan Christensen here. Thanks for taking a moment to look at the quiz and check that out and see if your thyroid may be affecting your health. You know, many have the disease and they know of it, but there's a huge population in which you might be part of that you're wondering if you're feeling your very best, if there's a reason for it. You know, many have their weight come up unexpectedly. Maybe the last few pounds are really hard to shake. Uh, some really crash in the afternoon, their energy levels drop off. You know, some of you may notice that your mood, you're just not feeling your best. You're not, not as happy as you should be, even if circumstances around you are going well. And sometimes this can be caused by something like thyroid disease. This is especially suspicious if family members of yours have it already, a sister or a mother or an aunt, that makes it even more probable. So I want to give you a couple of key steps to look for in terms of getting to your very best health and really understanding where your thyroid fits into all that. <laughs> the first part is just a detailed diagnosis. You know, is this the culprit or not? Unfortunately, the most common tests used only show thyroid disease when it's very advanced, often at a level that might take decades to reach. So many of you may have already thought about this. You may have seen your practitioner, your gynecologist, and said, hey, you know, I'm kind of run down, my weight's been difficult, could this be from my thyroid? And maybe you've had tests done and the doctor said, well, no, it's fine. Or maybe they said, well, it's borderline, uh, but it's really not bad just yet. So even in those cases, this still could be a culprit. <laughs> so it takes very thorough testing, and it also takes a doctor having an understanding of what optimal thyroid looks like for you. You know, not just a big range of normal, but how your score should look for your best personal health. So that's the first step, is good diagnosis. The next step is really understanding your full immune system. So when thyroid disease does come about, it comes about because your immune system attacks the gland. So to catch it at earliest stages and to treat it well really requires knowing what your immune system is doing. You know, is it attacking your thyroid? Is it attacking common foods? You know, dairy foods, gluten, eggs. Is your immune system going after these things? Are there low-grade persistent infections that are going on? So it's critical to see this really in the context of your whole immune health. The next step is it's important to really know about the structure of your gland. Sometimes we only know the disease is happening because the gland is getting a little bit too big or it's getting lumpy or calcified. And these are important things, both in terms of knowing whether thyroid disease is affecting you or not, but also in terms of if there's any other risks you may have related to your thyroid. Thyroid cancer is one of the fastest increasing types of cancer in North America today. So it's critical if you're suspecting thyroid disease based upon these symptoms to also have your gland checked out structurally, which is an ultrasound. And they're pretty cool tests. They're, they're not invasive, they're not radiation, but they get a really good look at the size and the shape and the texture of your gland. Next thing you want to look for in terms of your care is clear goals and objectives. You know, where, where are you now and where is it you want to be? You know, what would your perfect health look like? Think about, you know, your, your energy levels, how you would feel throughout the day, you know, how, how your mood would be in response to the inevitable little stressors that come up, you know, how, how your clothes would fit, what your sizes are. Those are totally realistic, reasonable goals. So your medical care should be aware of those and should have time frames and targets for those things. The last step is really knowing if your thyroid's a culprit and having you on track to have it healthy involves looking at the real root causes of thyroid disease. You know, for some, the gland is functioning, but there's a whole lot of things that are about to do it in. And that can be toxins from the environment. That could be low levels of important nutrients. That could be reactions to common everyday foods. That could be ongoing infections, like in the sinuses or candida in the intestinal tract. So it's good to dig at all those root causes. And when those things are looked at and anything not right has been helped, you can have great health. <laughs> when all the stressors are taken away, your body has this huge capacity to move you to just this thriving, vibrant state. And if it's not there already, there's reasons for that. And know that those reasons can be identified and they can be changed.
you know, if myself or our doctors at Integrative Health could help you with that journey, we'd be totally honored to do so. There's a special offer we've got for you to help with that. So thanks so much for tuning in and take great care of yourself. We'll talk soon.